Let's see how we can insert and delete rows and columns with and without macro. We'll start without macro and the first option is right click. We will put our mouse in any rows, right click and delete. Let me go back Ctrl Z. Again, in any row and insert and go back and we will put mouse in any columns and right click, insert and in any column and delete. Let me go back, Ctrl Z. The second option is cells group. We will select any two rows, right click, insert and here we have the option shift cells right or shift cells down let me see let me see right and we will see that it moved to the right ctrl z and again insert and shift cell down and we can see that it moved down and ctrl z back and the same we can use if we will go home tab, cells group, and here insert or delete. The next is shortcut, my favorite. We will select any cell, then shift space, and to delete control minus, and to insert Ctrl plus and we will select again any cell and click Ctrl space and then Ctrl minus to delete and Ctrl plus to insert. The next one is with macro and the first reference we will use the row or the column. We will start with rows. Let me open the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11 and here we'll collapse the window and we will start with a new module to add a new module all you need is to go insert and click on module i already did it so i have it here and we'll start with the first procedure let's name it sub insert row number one and the reference is row so we will start with rows open parenthesis and let's say row number six enter row dot insert and the row six will be this one and let's see how it is working everything is okay right so let me copy it and put it here and let's go to number two and the number two is reference cell so instead of rows here i will reference to cell to do it i will put range parenthesis and let's say a eight for example and close parenthesis And range A8 is this one, right? So let's click inside of the code and on run. And here it is. And the next one will be, let me copy it here, reference to range. Instead of A8, let's say it will be A7 and a 10 and it will be 8 7 a 10 right let me see how it is working i will click inside of the code and then run yes it is the same name so we need to change to another one number three and click on run and here it is 
let me copy it again go down and paste and the next one is a reference selection so here we will remove the range and we will put selection we need to select something let's say this one and click inside of the code and then run and the same we didn't change the name and click to run and here it is and now to work with columns all we need is to change the row to column in all code insert of enter row we will put enter column we will copy all this sub procedure and insert in additional module i have here already did it and here we have the same and the only thing we change here is that instead of rows we put here columns and here columns as well and here column and instead of range a8 we have here we will change to aa because the reference is the column and here's the range ab instead of a7 a11 and the last will be the same enter column instead of enter row so let's see how it is working let me collapse here a little bit And here we have the first procedure. The column two will be this one, right? And click on run. And here it is. Then insert column and range AA will be this column. And here it is. And then range AB will be this one, right? Run, and here it is. And then selection. Let's select something. Click here again inside the code and run. And here it is. So everything working. Let me go back. And now what we need is to delete rows and delete columns. Let's start with the rows. We will go here back to insert rows sub procedures we have and we will copy it insert on additional module and all we need is to change insert to delete very simple insert to delete i already did it and here i copy all my sub procedure and all i did is i change the insert to delete and let's see how it is working let me go here in our sheet collapse this one go to the first and see rows 9 and to row delete it is this one right row 9 let's go back inside to the code and click run and it is the second one is range a8 will be this one Enter row delete run and it is delete the next one is a7 a11 a7 a11 right Enter row delete let's see and it is deleted and then the next one is selection Enter row delete let me select something go back inside the code and click on run and it is deleted let me copy back our data i will take it from here and put it here back and now open this window and let's see how we will delete the columns we will go to insert column sub procedure all we need is to copy this sub procedure and instead of insert we will change it to delete I have already done it. I have here my sub procedures with delete. You see, you see, I have already changed it to delete. And let's see how it is working. 
let's put here columns two it will be this one and delete let me collapse here a little bit the second one aa it will be this column enter column delete and that is the next one will be ab delete and the next one is selection let's let's select this one and delete and that's all thank you for watching